Welcome to Travel Market Life, your companion for industry insights and professional business development. Travel Market Life. Join us by webcast, video or podcast. Hello and welcome back to Travel Market Life. I'm your host, Ryan Haynes, and in today's episode, we're going to be looking at operational excellence in hospitality with Jerome Van Gills, Development Director Europe of BWH Hotels. This is as part of the ACE Hotel Tech Summit in September 2023, where Jerome will be a presenter. BWH Hotels is a leading global hospitality enterprise comprised of three hotel companies, including World Hotels, Best Western Hotels and Resorts, and Shore Stay Hotels, with around 4,300 hotels worldwide and 19 brands across every chain segment from economy to luxury. In our conversation today, we're going to be covering the role of technology, how hospitality is a people business and getting the most out of staff, how to make more time for guests, and those quick wins for the team and longer term considerations for technology. Travel Market Life. On the line now is Jerome Van Gills. Jerome, thank you ever so much for joining us. Now, you're going to be talking at the Ace Hotel Summit about operational excellence in hospitality. And obviously, the central theme here is going to be around technology. So what's the role of technology in operations today? Good morning, Ryan. Thank you so much for having me on your uh, on your podcast. Actually, it's my first podcast, so I'm very excited. Now, reg- regarding the role of, the, of technology, I think it, technology is getting more and more important these days, of course. Of course, hoteliers are using the technology to manage inventory, to do the bookings, to do the reservations. But I think uh, these days, technology is getting more important in reviews as well, and also in yield management. Because if you don't have the right information regarding your guests, regarding their booking data, etc., you're not able to do any good forecasting. Revenue management is not making any yield predictions in the, in the future. So I think that that's really, really important. And especially knowing your clients makes it much more easier for operation to, to manage clients like they are expecting to be managed. So in this case, technology is actually key. And what I think that is really important as well regarding these days technology is that it must be simple technology, simple to use. So we see, for example, such huge reportings and data coming in that nobody's ever able to do something with it. So make sure, I think, when you're implementing uh, technology or more technology in your company, make sure it's it's the reasonable technology that is easy to use and readable for the majority of your uh, of your staff. I mean, you know, when it comes to technology, it covers so many different aspects, especially within operations. And there are so many different departments that you need to consider and how those technologies talk to each other. When it comes to sort of de- deciding and, and, and identifying those, those technology platforms and systems that you require, uh, how do you approach it at BWH? Uh, is it a matter that uh, you need to approach it by territory uh, or is it by brand? Um, or uh, are you looking at it by property level to identify actually what's going to work uh, best within that environment? I think one of the most important things is that uh, the technology is compatible with your PMS system, because in the end, the PMS system of a hotel is key. If you cannot interface anything with your PMS, it doesn't make sense, because then you're having several systems in your hotel that are not speaking to each other. So I think one of the core things if hotels are having a new PMS system involved is checking, is it only PMS or are there interfaces possible in this PMS? And we do the same with our CRS actually. We own our own CRS system with BWH, which makes us very unique, but also sometimes very complex because we are adding more and more PMS systems to our CRS, but we cannot add every uh, PMS so far, although via channel manager, of course, but it will be very very detailed. But uh, on hotel level, our hoteliers are in the lucky position to make their own investments, but also their own choices based on uh, based on technology. Although, of course, we are trying to stream and to, to, to steer them to the right products because with the number of hotels you just mentioned, uh, above 4,300 at the moment, we have some good examples of hoteliers that are using specific technology that works very, very well. And we know that a hotel in Frankfurt is a quite similar maybe to a hotel in London. So why not using the same technology for, for their guests instead of finding a new product and discovering, benchmarking several products if we are able to, to steer them? 
But I think well, what's really nice for, for me to work with, with the chain I'm working right now is that the hoteliers in the end and the owners are able, are able to make their own decision and we're not forcing them to use one, two, three kind of systems. I was going to say then, you know, particularly, you know, since a lot of the owners own their own properties, you know, how do you get around or, you know, how do you look at mandating technology? I mean, obviously not specific systems, but actually the use of technology, because um, although it hasn't been a people business and hospitality is very much requiring that personal service in, in many circumstances, especially the upper tier uh, segment of the hotels, there is the necessity for technology. Uh, digitalization is here. Uh, we even see it in our day-to-day -day payments. Um, but within the operations itself, uh, are, are, are you having to mandate that properties actually have certain level of, of systems and uh, tech infrastructure in place? The, the only, only system actually that we are forcing uh, the hoteliers to use is Medelia. Medelia is, our, is a guest satisfaction review program. And that is also because we are um, targeting our hotels on Medallia to see how they are performing comparable to other hotels in our concept, but also comparable to their own hotel last year and the previous years. Because we need some system that has data to see how is the guest satisfaction going up or down with hotels. And the good thing about Medallia, in our opinion, is that it makes life easier for hoteliers as well. Because it's a, it's a platform and there are similar platforms. Also, I'm not pitching specific for Medallia, but as a company, we're using Medallia. But the good thing about a tool like Medallia is that the reviews are, um, hoteliers are able to send reviews via one platform for, for all their Expedia, the booking, the Google reviews, et cetera, et cetera. So they have a good overview of all reviews coming in, all streamlined and make good reporting to see if they are in, have to improve their housekeeping, their front office, their breakfast, et cetera, et cetera. So actually, that is one of the few systems that we are forcing hotels to work with. And the other system is, of course, that they have to be connected to our CRS system because otherwise we cannot deliver them any business. And that is really um, for, for a lot of hoteliers next to the loyalty program, one of the, the main decisions to join our brand and to get the GDS bookings and the corporate bookings, the lecture bookings in. I mean, technology is not uh, just about making, uh, helping operations work better. Um, you're also there to support your staff and, and retain that, that talent. And obviously at the moment, especially in hospitality, uh, we, we need to be attracting much more talent as well to the sector. Uh, what is really important, do you feel at this moment in time, that hoteliers and the industry need to be focusing on to get the most out of their teams? I think really the most important thing is that the uh, employees are doing what they're good in. So if you are hiring employees, the, the, the chance that you will hire a front office employee with 10 years experience in seven, uh, seven other hotels is nihil. Most likely you will get a new one on board that didn't have any clue about how a hotel is working, but maybe has the attitude to entertain guests to make sure that guests are feeling at home. And we think with technology wise, it's more important that it's quite easy for them to make a reservation, quite easy for them to produce a room key, but they don't have to go to the task list of 17, 18, 19 questions before they're able to check in a guest. It must be more about making, feeling the guest at home, making good interaction with the guest, and that they are doing what they like to do because nobody who wants to work in a hotel is there to do a lot of administration. A front office employee thinks when he goes to his job, he wants to interact with guests. That is something he likes, that is something he's good in. And I think that's a role for the management team as well in the hotels to make sure that every employee is on the right place in the hotel. So if you have an, an outgoing person, make sure he is shining in the front office, in your lobby, in, in your restaurant, in your breakfast, and don't put him away in the back office to fill in several forms to make sure that all the credit card statements are correct, for example, because that is something technology must take over in your day-to-day -day operations. I mean, I say it, it's the, the moment of being able to identify where that person fits best uh, in order to get the most out of them. Uh, but then it's also about getting that time for guests. Um, where are you starting to help uh, hoteliers find that time uh, in order to provide that more personalized uh, and an interactive service with their guests? Now, what I think is really important that, like, like you mentioned, it must be personal. So, for example, I'm staying quite often in a hotel in Frankfurt, as we have in our office over there, and I always use the online check-in, and it works quite smoothly. I can do the online check-in on my mobile. I've got my room key on my mobile, so I don't have to see anybody on the front desk. And I'm 
not willing maybe to see anybody on the front desk because most of the time I'm in a rush. I want to go from the airport to the hotel, back to the office. So I don't have the time for the 12, 13, 14 questions. But when I'm going for leisure to, to, to the beach with my girlfriend, for example, I want to have the full experience. I want to know everything about the wellness, about, about the breakfast time, about the good restaurants, etc., etc. So I think what's really, really important is that the front office employee, but also the people in the restaurant, etc., have the knowledge about who is the guest that are speaking to and what are their needs. So that you can really say, okay, for this guest, I have only 30 seconds needs. And the other guest, maybe a grandmother who celebrates her 80 years birthday and go for the second time on site inspection. She wants to have the full hour, maybe an hour and a half with, with coffee and with everything to, to feel at home. So I think that's really important as well. And there are a lot of hospitality trainings for that as well that are provided to make sure that you're delivered the right time for the right guest instead of doing the full Monty for everybody instead of the people that don't are looking for that. So I really believe that technology like an online check-in, but also like an online check-out can be extremely time-saving for the front office employee and to make sure that they have the time for the people that are not willing to use those kind of services without having more and more people on, on your front desk. But what's really important in this, I think as well, is that if you use this technology, it must be good technology because nothing gives more complaints to, to, to a hotel if technology is not working. I'm really pissed as well when I'm going to the fourth floor with the stairs and my room key is not working because somebody didn't push the right button or maybe the system is broken, et cetera, et cetera. So in that case, please give me a normal key because then I know for sure that it's working if your technology is not up to date and not working like it's supposed to be. How do you work with vendors to ensure that they are providing you um, a service and a system that is, you know, continually working and doesn't have the downtime or, or maybe the friction within the guest experience um, and, and uh, really drive them to deliver that, that experience that you need to for your brands? And that, that, that's quite tricky, of course, because everything, everybody is uh, selling you the, the, the golden mountains. I'm not sure if that's in English as well, but everybody is telling that they have the best product ever. But I think we are in the lucky position that all our hoteliers are independent and all our hoteliers does have the need to make a good product for their clients. And they're also willing to share uh, reviews with each other because when somebody is staying in the best Western hotel in Paris, and he wants to go to a Best Western Hotel in, in, in Barcelona, for example, they want to have the same experience. So our hoteliers wants to make sure that the other hotels are on the same level as well. So during conventions, during online meetings, hoteliers are really willing to share best practices in their hotel, but also are willing to share, okay, we, we did an investment in our hotel, but it didn't work out like we're supposed to do. So if you are looking for new room keys, if you're looking for new sheets, if you're looking for new PMS system, please make sure you consider this and this and that. So that is really, I think, uh, as, as, as we actually felt that it's part of the family, that we are sharing good practices with each other to make sure that it's, it's, it's workable for everybody. And it's in the end workable for the brand. So to get satisfaction and good for everybody. There's so much technology coming onto the market, um, you know, addressing all different types of issues um, or problems and frictions within the guest experience, but also for team and staff management. Where do you see are the actual quick wins right now for hotels uh, where they can really drive that operational excellence uh, with, with systems that are quick and easy to implement? I, I really believe by myself in the QR codes. And I know during the COVID period, a lot of hotels and a lot of hospitality um, related companies went into QR codes, but now as, as the moment, we see QR codes combined with trainings because it's not only adding a QR code on your table and receiving at, at your bar the request for, for several drinks, but you are also able to, to, to upsell with QR codes and to make sure if you don't get rid of your stuff, to make sure that the staff is adding additional services to, to, to it. So it's, it's, it's actually, in my opinion, more like, like um, the McDonald's example, for example. McDonald's is now having all those big boards when you're entering where you can have tick boxes and adding drinks and food on it. I think five years ago, nobody was expecting that because you had to go to the counter and you have to get your burger directly with you. The, the good thing regarding that is that McDonald's is increasing its revenue with points and points and points because the additional services coming up, there's popping up, do you want to have an extra code? Do you want to have your fries large or medium? Blah, blah, blah. But also 
the, the expectation is, is much, much more better and you're able to do things tailor-made and you don't, you are for sure that there is no mistakes in it. And I think, for example, if hotels on, on, on a five-star level are putting their room service menu with a QR code, they're able to adjust uh, to change menus on a weekly, monthly, hourly basis, but they also are still able to do the call after their um, order from the client to the hotel room with thank you so much for your order, really appreciate it, we will create your, your, your rum steak, uh, blah, 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 it will be there in 15 minutes, please give me a call if you need something else. So you can still make it really tailor-made instead of only receiving the, the offer via the QR codes, but you're able to do the phone call after three minutes or after four minutes, so it's up to you when you do have the time for it. So um, operational-wise, you have way more time, way more flexibility to do it. So I really think that it's a quick win next to the, the self-check-in, self-check-out, like, like already mentioned. But also a, a tool like the guest satisfaction tool is a huge time saving for hotels because they don't have to go to every website, every review website to fill in their response. They can do it way more easily from one platform and have a really good reporting and also to see how is the guest uh, experiencing of, uh, the experience of the service that the hotel is offering with, for example, the QR code or the online check-in. So I really believe those are the quick wins, easy to adapt. And um, of course, they all cost money, but not extremely a lot. From quick wins to longer term considerations in Denger own, obviously, uh, we've been looking at uh, the role that artificial intelligence is going to play, augmented reality, but also um, how holograms might start to uh, make more of an appearance within the hospitality sector. Uh, what do you would you are, are you sort of looking at within your longer term strategy? Of course, we, we do. And we, we are looking at that on brands perspective as well, because we do have the traditional brands where guests do have another uh, expectation than, for example, one of the brands that we have with, with Aiden Hotels. We have several Aiden Hotels, which is a lifestyle boutique brand in Scandinavia. And what, what's really a nice thing, actually, in those hotels is that I believe five or six hotels working together with a hologram for a check-in and a front office employee. So if you're going to the hotel, there is a big screen, you can stand in front of it, you can touch the button, and the easy questions of people will come in for your ID, you will see the hologram, and they have the questions about the breakfast and the standard questions about which time is the gym open, et cetera, et cetera. But if you have a specific question that is not on the tick box with the five or six regular question, somebody from a studio somewhere in the country comes up after 30 seconds, maybe one minute, and you have a real face-to-face -face interaction with a human. So you will see a human uh, in front of you wearing his Aiden shirt, uh, greeting you. He's seeing you via camera as well. So you have a really good connection and interaction with this guest, of, with, this, with this employee, and he's able to, to help you making your, your, your customer journey actually in, in this. And the good thing about technology as well, that this guy is also able, of this girl is also able to work for two, three, four other hotels at the same time. So he's just standing there in the studio. I believe they have three studios for, for five or six hotels. So on the nighttime, maybe there's one person, but in, in, in daytime, maybe two or three. But it's so easy for them to adapt. And especially with a specific brand like Aiden, where, where more younger people are coming. I believe the average, average age is around 30, beginning 30s. So people are willing to, to use this investment as well. Because when I'm sending my parents to a hotel for, for, for a leisure trip, they're absolutely, they don't understand anything when there's a hologram coming, uh, coming in. <laughs> so I think that that's really important as well. When, when you do things like this, you have to make sure that you pick the right brand and the right audience for that. Wonderful. Jerome, thank you ever so much for that. Uh pretty much whistle stop store around sort of operational excellence in hospitality and the utilization of technology. And obviously I look forward to actually meeting you in person, having a much deeper conversation around this at the ACE Hotel Tech Summit in September. Thank you so much, Ryan. It was a pleasure. Thank you for having me and looking forward to meeting you in, in London. So that was Jerome Van Gils, Development Director Europe for BWH Hotels as part of the ACE Hotel Tech Summit series. Please check out more of our episodes on travelmarket.life or just head to any of your podcast channels where you'll be able to find our latest series, including Hotel Partner and Season 3 of Hotelier's Voice, where we hear from senior hotel directors about some of their uh, implementations of new technologies, processes and strategies across their portfolio. I'm your host, Ryan Haynes. Thanks for listening. Ciao for now. 
for more, go to Travel Market Life. The music sensation by Zach Nelson is reproduced under license from Storyblocks. Travel Market Life is a Haynes Marcoms digital marketing agency production serving the travel and technology industries.